April 2000, Universal Studios rocked the theme park world with the opening of Men in Black Alien Attack, taking thrill rides to the next dimension. Now we take you into its secret world. Men in Black is the first fully interactive thrill ride video game. In the ultimate Hollywood fantasy, visitors get to play an MIB agent. Armed with an alien zapper, they engage in an intergalactic shootout with creatures threatening to destroy the universe. The goal is simple, score the most direct hits. The technology that makes it happen is out of this world. Developers started by transforming a ride vehicle into the ultimate PlayStation. We put onboard gaming computers. There are two computers that run each vehicle, and they are smart vehicles that actually communicate with the entire building network over uh, radio frequency modems. But this is the first time ever we've integrated a laser tag component, an interactive game component, with a ride vehicle. You're shooting an infrared beam out of the gun, which activates a sensor on the character. And on the back, you'll see green and red indicators. Green, of course, for uh, you've scored a hit on the character, and you've missed if the red one lights up. What makes this ride truly interactive is that visitors don't just shoot at aliens, the aliens shoot back. They can actually zap your vehicle and cause you to spin out of control. And if aliens aren't enough, visitors also find themselves going laser to laser with other cars. So what happens here is the vehicles come into this tunnel and they pivot to face each other and you zap at a target on the back of the vehicle. The more you zap at them, the more they spin. There are nearly 130 aliens waiting to ambush you. And we're not talking the cuddly E.T. type. These are the mutant kind, aliens with attitude. All of them, again, were kind of designed to be that fine line between funny and scary. But there's nothing funny about how long it took to create this twisted world. Up to one year was spent on a single creature. We'll start with a rendering, and then we'll break it down from there. Uh, we'll talk about uh, muscles, skin, and cosmetics. Uh, shell and skeletal structure and break it all down on paper first. From here it goes to our sculpting department, which in turn will design these characters in three dimensions. Working in total secrecy, the designers created a truly advanced life form. First, each character was given a brain, a computerized circuit board that tells them when to fire back at visitors. Next came feelings or sensors embedded in their skin that register every hit by a laser beam. Finally, a personality, in movements and expressions unique to their character. Every single movement was tested and retested hundreds of hours before an alien was given clearance to take its battle station. Hidden in this secured room is the heart of the ride. Two mainframe computers operating simultaneously run the entire system, including an elaborate backup that can instantly take over in the event of a computer crash. There's over 200 individual computers, all with different functions, talking to each other. Basically, we have enough computing power inside this building to run an automotive assembly plant. And it takes every bit of that power to operate the final creature waiting to devour you. This is the giant alien bug. This is actually the, uh, the world's largest animatronic figure, about 50 feet wide, 30 feet high. Larger than a house, the giant bug has teeth eight feet wide, claws 20 feet long, and an attitude that won't win him many friends. The only way to destroy him is to literally enter the belly of the beast and zap him from inside. Once the ride is over, computers quickly tabulate the scores of everyone in your car and your opponent's car and declare a winner. If victory means everything for you, here's an insider secret tip for increasing your odds of winning the game. Your guns are actually a little more accurate from farther away because the infrared is a cone that comes out of the gun. So don't shoot stuff that's close to the vehicle. Aim for stuff that's farther away, and you'll have a much better chance at hitting things. And one great advantage about this attraction, you can ride it as many times as you want, and you'll never have the same experience twice. This is Seuss Landing, the most popular place in the park for the under five set.